Here we go with another sitting in a chair video. This one's about how to separate audio tracks in OBS over NDI. If you've been following my Twitch channel or my Twitter, links below of course, then you'll know that I've just bought a house and I'll be using it to make some renovation streams and videos. So like and subscribe and ring the bell if you want to watch that stuff. In the past, this resulted in some pretty weird streaming setups with up to five different PCs and I wanted to start addressing the technical issues I had in the past now before I get back to work. Five PCs because I had them, laptop, NAS, streaming machine, game machine, and home theater PC. And I wanted to have webcam set up to follow me as I moved through the house, hauling out the hardwood flooring I tore up. One of the big technical issues was that while I'm working, I like to listen to music, hear stream alerts, and be able to interact with people. That makes it really tough to do anything with videos after I'm done because I use just tons of jump cuts and that makes all the background music sound just bad. So I needed a way to be able to separate out my mic audio from my desktop audio, all while pushing that over NDI to the main streaming recording machine, especially when I'm using multiple PCs and camera setups. The pushing it over NDI is where the trick came in because there are tons of videos out there about how to separate audio for recording and OBS, and I'll cover that in the end of this video too. NDI can even push full 7.1 surround sound. The problem came in with with Windows defaulting desktop audio to be your front left and front right, while also defaulting my mic to be front left and front right. If anyone knows how to assign channels to sources and hubs, that would definitely be a better solution than what I've got. But for now, this is what I've come up with. So here's my streaming machine. You can see I've got my gaming machine microphone and my gaming machine desktop sources set out separately in my mixer here. And you can see them working too. Then over here we have the gaming machine, and you can tell it's a gaming machine because it has Rocket League and Discord installed and on the desktop. Then I've got my two instances of OBS running. My left OBS is running the webcam, mic, and display capture, and the right OBS is only running the desktop audio. Each is pushing over NDI with a different name, so each NDI stream shows up differently back on the streaming recording PC. Then I've got my two instances of OBS running. My left OBS is running the webcam, mic and display capture, and the right OBS is only running the desktop audio. Each is pushing over NDI with a different name. So this one is Game Machine MO for mic only, and this one is Game Machine Desktop only. So each NDI stream shows up differently back on the streaming machine. Game Machine Desktop, Game Machine Mic. It was at this point that I moved the microphone from that machine to that machine, but this machine didn't figure out not to use that microphone and it sounds terrible i'm really sorry it doesn't last for the whole rest of the video but it's in there let's build this up from scratch so you can follow along with the whole process there are two points that really tricked me up for a bit that hopefully make this video worth watching so the first part is how do you run two copies of at once well you click it once and then instead of just clicking it again you right click it and you click obs it'll ask you do you really want to run it it's already running say launch Loads up with exactly the same stuff in exactly the same spot, and then you have two copies of OBS running. At this point, everything about both copies of OBS will be identical, even all the way down to what you got out of your NDI settings, and even where it puts the NDI settings window. So the first thing that really tricked me up was I thought that you could control the audio settings through the profile manager, but you can't. So I set up a desktop only and a mic only, and you can see that nothing in here is changing. It turns out your audio sources are actually sources, and that's part of your scenes. So you have to make a different scene collection. And for me, I've done this already. If I go down from desktop only down to mic only, you'll see it adds in the webcam, the display cap, but the other main more important thing is that it changed the audio settings. So if we can hop back here again, you'll see that the desktop audio on this one is raised and the mic is not. And we switch back to the cam only scene collection, then the desktop is muted and the mic is not. I had to move the mic over to the streaming PC because the vMix desktop capture for NDI was just massacring my audio and I couldn't make it work. 
So right now you don't actually get to see the mic bumping, but it would be if it was still plugged in. The other thing that tricked me up a little bit, and this is still kind of hit and miss, is no matter what I do, I cannot make OBS remember what I had for the NDI settings. So this one, you see it's still in desktop only. If I go to desktop only in the profile, it keeps the desktop only settings. I switch to mic only, it keeps that. Let's change that to mic only. We'll hit OK, we'll go back to profile, switch it. It's still mic only so it's not remembering it in the profile we've switched the ndi settings to mic only from desktop only if we switch the scene collection you would think that the other scene if it was going to maintain it would but it doesn't so this is the really it's the only really frustrating part left is that you can't click a menu click a button and have it go ready to go you have to every time go through here and change one of your ops to be the other name that you pick up on your streaming pc so now this one is named mic only only, and this one is still named desktop only. So now that I've got this set back up, you can see my mic is working on here again. And if we start the music going, you can see the desktop is working over here. And if we go back to the streaming machine, you can see that we've got our two different sources here. When I stop talking, this goes away, but the music keeps going because the music is still going over here until I stop it. So there's two other things. I keep saying there's so many twos in this video. There's two other things I wanted to go through still. One is why have one of these totally blank with no sources and the other one have all your stuff in it. That's pretty simple. If we go into task manager, we're going to see about the same CPU usage for both of them. But what we see over here is a very different amount of network usage. And if I switch this one to mic only, you can see this jumps up in a big way. Maybe not an issue for you, but I prefer to keep resources at a minimum when I can. So we go back over here desktop only from 100 megabits per second we're down to 12 or none you know if i uh if i had the music going again well we'll see that that pick up a little bit but otherwise that keeps it fairly minimal and the other thing I said I would go over was how to actually set up so that you can record different sources to different tracks because all of this is mood if you can't separate out your mic audio from your video audio or your game audio or your background music audio. And this is pretty simple. You just go over to your audio mixer and you hit advanced audio properties. We look at the, the two that I'm actually bothering to record right now. We're doing the gaming machine desktop and the gaming machine mic. OBS will not down mix from multiple tracks to a single Single track. So if you want your stream to hear everything that you can hear, then make sure you've got track one selected for everything you want the stream to hear. And then when you are over in your settings and you're in your output, you make sure that this is selected on track one and that's what the stream will hear. Back over here in the advanced audio properties, the way that you can separate it out for editing is to say, okay, they both get track one, but one of them gets track two and the other one gets track three. And then when I hop over to to premiere in just a minute you'll see that track one has both the music and the microphone and then track two has only the microphone and track three has only the music and if we start the music going you can see the desktop is working over here streaming machine And if we go back to the streaming machine, you can see that we've got our two different sources here. 